Scott's Wild Camper, the wild camping channel for the great outdoors. Right folks, how you getting on? It's Friday. Uh, it's the 28th. <laughs> I'm only start that again. It's Friday, it's definitely Friday. It's about it must be a uh, about could be about uh, could be five o'clock, <laughs> I'm not joking. It could be Friday and it's five five PM but uh anyway I'm out for a two nighter. Uh, it's a car camp meetup with obviously fellow YouTubers that most of you will know if you watch my channel. I'm not going to shoot much footage tonight, it's really, we're just getting settled in and we're going to have, uh, Julie's made a big pot of mince and totties and neeps and uh, we'll sit around the campfire and have a wee blether and catch up and have a couple of drinks. So there'll be much footage, but hopefully a wee walk tomorrow. I'll take some footage of that. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. That's your whack. Right, I'll take you, I'll take you around the, the place where we're pitched. We're in Ayrshire, Don't, can't remember if I said that. So we're camping in Ayrshire. And there you go, that's the set up for tonight. Not bad, eh? Not too bad. Here's the table of goodies, eh? We're not going to starve anyway. No, definitely as I, not. As I said already, Julie's made a big pot of mince, snoops, and tatties. You're liking this wash with Sinclair, aren't you? Um, it's George, Jed, 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 Derek, of course. Yes. You know, fancy it? No, oh, fancy it. Just kind of yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hoof in it. It's a hoof in time. Yeah. Only there, but I've got G14 clearance. Ah, G14 clearance. That's it. He wouldn't bat an eyelid, but now it's like he would die. Do you know what I mean? If anything happened. Hurry up, Eddie. Too late. Mouse and totties is saved. You'd be nicking the blade the minute. <laughs> that's it. George is the first one. Right up, man. Look Mince taught his peas. That's, that's going to be great. And uh, yeah. broccoli, I think. Mint sauce. Right. There you go. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Julie. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Who's it that does that all the time? Oh yeah! Perfect, excellent. Perfect. Perfecto, and plenty of it as well. <laughs> excellent. I'm used to them after when I used to go out and the kids have eaten, and I'd be eating like a roll out. And they'd go, oh, here's one. So I'd go, yeah. And it'll be like a whiskey. Aye. They'd go, no! <laughs> <laughs> Julie, do you remember the, the snorkel jackets? 
Yes, I have, right, yes. Right, right, you know how the, the big hood? Oh, well, I you have. couldn't you couldn't go with your pals into the shops. Everybody had a snot Aye, but you, could, you couldn't wear it in a shop with your pals because you come back outside and your hood was full of sweets. Uh, <laughs> they would fill your hood out and then you'd walk it. You, you're the one that's walking out with all the sweets and they're miles behind you. Kind of Do thing. you know they've stopped calling them midget gems at Marks and Spencer's? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Because it's upsetting the midgets. No. Oh, what? I'm I'm serious. Serious. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, it doesn't bother me really. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel cleansed now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, yeah no you can't call really. them midget gems. Yeah. I'll get these four tiny folk gems. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, remember the Texan bar? Uh, yeah. Texan. It was like a kind of white uh, nugget thing with chocolate. Mm -hmm. Darkish chocolate. It could have been. Dark could have been. It was a thin. It was a, thin. I don't know if it was a cowboy or an Indian. The, 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 the advert used to go, "Don't talk, eat." The last time. Remember that? Remember that? Don't talk, eat. Do you remember the Aztec bar, George? Yes. I've got half a biscuit. Derek, 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 Derek,
normal, everybody. Act normal. Nice house, nice tree. I think we're uh, walking around the loch and maybe through the forest a bit. Well, we're heading on to the forest track. Lock Braden. We are not going up that way. There's the sun coming out. We're heading up this way. Up that way. For us. That's it. Yeah, it picks the water up into a mist and takes it along. Yeah. Oh, man, as long as everything's all right. Okay. So that's just where I used to come every week, Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's the first night when that van comes out there. Oh, right. It's just thank you for that. Yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Why, right. why, why wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah.
Seems like we're going for a, a longer walk than we first planned. Uh, looks like we're walking right round Old Loch. <laughs> That's miles. I don't know. But we're still walking. Good stuff. It's a nice day. Mild. Bit windy. But a nice day. Nice day for walking. I'm actually too too hot to be honest. This is a nice view. Here it is. Not bad eh? Not bad. Well, we're not crossing over there, are we? It's up that way. Up and over. And then round up again. <laughs> well, it's a good hike. It's turned out to be a good hike. Ah, we're heading into a sort of forest track now. Straight on. Isn't it sure, but we're going to turn there. So I'm trying to see the other chaps ahead. I can't see them. Right. I don't know if we've took a wrong turn or there was a shortcut because Derek, uh, Glenn, Jed and George are they're away ahead and then on the other side. So unless well we've never been, I think Derek's the only one that's done this, so he was ahead, so uh and sort of get separated I think. I don't know. But we follow the track. The track we swing round and up, so we're just following the track. I just heard that, I had to turn back. I heard Julie shouting, I thought, to be honest, I thought something had happened. I heard Julie shouting, so I ended up walking back a good bit. And I was, they weren't really sure if they'd missed a turn, so that was that. But we'll get there. Worst case scenario, we just walk back. I mean, it is a, it's, it's a track and a path all the way, so... There's no hassle, you know. Just a long walk. Good for you, isn't it? A good long walk. Healthy. Right, I hope that's another path leading... You know, leading that way. This walk seems to be going on and on a wee bit. As I said, it's a good walk, but I mean, we need to get 
you know, we need to be heading in the right direction, do you know what I mean? Right, what does that look like? Let's have a look. Hmm. I would say that way. It must be that way. Because up there we're just heading further and further away. Right, I better wait for Sinclair and Julie. Right folks, so we're heading this way and we're trying to meet up with Derek, but if not, obviously we'll just meet our own way back. We think they might have crossed at the dam. Hmm. I thought it was, certainly it was gated, I thought it was locked, a locked gate. Plus it was a dip, as you saw in the video, the dam's no straight, it's no straight across. There's a, in the middle it goes the way down, so unless there's stairs or Mm, I don't know, but uh, it's difficult to see how they get that far, that far ahead. But anyway, a uh, wee adventure, always an adventure. You have to do that way optimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a long hike. A lot of times the best, the best wee adventure is when Things don't go to plan. I'm not just saying that. That is some of the best trips. I haven't went to plan. I think uh, I heard Julie shouting there. I don't know if she's seen uh, seen the other group. Can't really see it myself at the moment. Right folks, we're on the road now and we come to a junction and I think we turn left but I can, I, you're not going to pick it up on the camera but I can see the other group. It's not going to be as long a walk as I thought. I thought we were going to have to walk back along the Loch Braden but now we've, uh, we've basically done a circuit. As I say, I've never, never done this hike before so we should get back. Back to camp within the hour anyway. You definitely see them now. There they are. Not that far ahead. Full rainbow, if you can see it. Next bit of footage will be at the campsite. I hope. <laughs> and there you go. Mission accomplished. Oh, 
I have put the lipstick on. So that's, uh, that's the end of the night, the second night. Uh, good, good couple of days. Great to meet up with the people again, the original crew. <laughs> uh, aye, I'll, I'll just want to go back to the hike for a, f a few seconds. What had happened, the reason we got split up is that if you remember the dam when I said well that gate's locked so we'll no, we'll no be crossing the dam what had happened is Derek, uh, Glenn, Jed and George had walked walked down from the dam right alongside the dam so we didn't know to do that they were, they were you know they were a bit ahead and we didn't see them, so we just followed the track. But the bottom line is the two routes took us to the same point. Well, as you saw, we met up, so we converged, so same difference, really. Uh, with plenty to eat, I've had a couple of, I've had three cans, no, two cans and a bottle of beer, so that's, for me, that's quite a lot. As I say, two, two pints, two cans is usually my limit. But I had an, an extra, an extra wee bottle of beer tonight. Aye, right, I've waffled on enough. I'm going to retire to my, my bag. Got a wee packet of hula hoops. I'll eat them and then 
I went in my bag try and get to sleep. Certainly be relaxed and com quite comfortable but hopefully I'll get a decent sleep. Right, I'll catch you in the morning. Ah, morning folks. That's about 9am I'd guess. That's it, we're all getting ready. Having a cup of tea and then get ready and we're away. As I said last night, I'll, I'm be out in a couple of days uh, with Sinclair, that's the plan anyway. We'll go out for two nights, certainly a night, hopefully two nights. So that was good. It's a good place, but get, I'm not going to mention the name because it is getting a bit ruined. We were talking about that. It's uh, really the... People driving down a bit. You've got this, all this place to park. As you can see, all the red chip stone, whatever you want to call it. Red gravel. But they're going down at the. They're driving over the grassy bit or down to the grassy bit and it's it's chewing it up and ruining it. When you've got all this. When you've got all this place to park. I don't think so, mate. Sinclair's just asking if everybody's gone away yet. <laughs> anyway, right. I'll maybe do an RV vlog to end it. I'll get, I'll need to get my stuff ready. I mean, uh, everybody's slept in the motors. Well, George slept in his, his, his car and obviously Julie Sinclair and Derry have got camper vans. Oh, sorry, Glenn had the tent. Me and Glenn had tents and Jed had his tarp. Great to meet up with the gang again. Uh, next, as I say, a couple of days' time, uh, we've not decided yet where we're going. We've got, we've got a couple of, well, we've got two main uh, choices. But we're going to have a look at the weather as well. You know, follow the weather as well. But anyway, right. I think that'll do it for this one, eh? I'll catch you for the next one.